What's up, my comic community? My name's Colin, and I collect comics, and today is Tuesday, so we are going to actually do a Comic Sense order. I am super excited. I uh, know that we, maybe later tonight, if I've got time, I'll do my last week's pulls. If not, we'll just have to, you know. I should also have another Comic Sense coming soon, so I may have another Comic Sense video really soon. So we're gonna go ahead and start with this big, huge box. I love I got a lunar box. I love that I got a big old lunar box. This is a lot of bricks. Look at all these bricks, man. I got so many bricks, you'd think I was a dealer. Come on, that's great humor. One, two, three, four, five bricks of comics from Comic Sense. Ready to check it out? I know I am. Comic Sense is an awesome spec group. They talk about comic books on Facebook. They also talk about comic books here on YouTube. You should definitely check them out. Uh, yeah, I really like them a lot. Here's the first brick. I think I'm going to go ahead and just open each brick and set down the books. That way we can just get the show all rolling. But yeah, I really like their show. You should definitely check them out. Check them out here on uh, YouTube also. Uh, definitely check them out. On, like, They also have shows on Saturdays that I rarely get to watch. Sometimes of really good spec stuff, but... All their new books that they do on their show, which is called All the Spec on Tuesdays on Facebook. It's from 5.30 uh, Central to, oh, uh, whenever they're done. But it's always the new books that come out this the week. And it's not, it's only spec books. So it's only like number ones or first appearances, things that are, you know, projected to increase in value, which is nice. Lots of books here, though, obviously. And, yes, I do buy a lot of stuff from them because I can get really good. They have really good, great deals on their stuff. Like, uh, you know, there's, like, sometimes you get two for the price of one. Sometimes, you know, things like that. Wow, this is really cool. All right, that is a huge stack. Y'all can't see it on screen, but it's a really big stack. So we are going to start with this Dark Horse stack. Well, it starts with Dark Horse. We've got Star Wars High Republic. reason I pick up Star Wars High Republic, both of my cousin and I pick it up, and the main reason behind it is because it, uh, oh, Star Wars High Republic usually has new characters that you haven't seen. So, therefore, if there's characters that you haven't seen in comics, you know, or, or on the screen, that's always a good spec. So, here we got this issue 10 right here. Here's a B cover, I believe, or the A cover, I'm not sure. I'm sure somewhere in these stacks there'll be another one of these because my uh, cousin James, I get them for him also. I think if you've been watching this show, you would probably heard me talk about that or him. All right, next we're moving on. We've got a stack right here. And it's starting with image number one. And we've got two copies of Moon is following us. Then after that, we've got... Power Fantasy number two, and we've got the secret variant, which they're not so secret anymore, kind of. Then the regular one right here. Then we got the B cover. And I just recently picked up Power Fantasy number one. It should be in any time now. Next, we got the fourth issue of Falling in Love on the Path to Hell. Y'all know I love this show, this this book. Uh, I need to start reading more of it. The first issue is freaking phenomenal. 
Uh, next, we got Destro, number four. And I believe this is your A cover of Destro. And I had to... This B cover is so awesome and hideous at the same time. You got this pimped out Destro in this super dope freaking, you know, coat. And I'm loving it. I'm loving it. How can you not, right? Pimped out Destro. Like I said, I also kind of hate it, too, at the same time. It's kind of, you know, it's kind of gross and funny at the same time. I love it. It's kind of, I'm really torn on the cover. Uh, if you check out the Destro, tell me what you think about that B cover. Next, we've got that last High Republic. And we have Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Nation. And this is the number one of that. All right. Next, I believe this whole stack is void rivals and we're just gonna blare right through this craziness because all right we got void rivals issue number one right tenth printing all right so we've got this gold foil we got this gold foil we got this gold foil. We got... Which, these are some of my favorite, favorite covers. These. I can't remember who did them. I've mentioned them before, but... These covers are always so cool. We got this sweet cover right here. So many. So many cool covers for this Void Rivals. <laughs> and then we got this final cover. So yeah, tons of Void Rivals number one tenth printings. Had to have all those. Those are one of the things that cost me way too much money as a collector. <laughs> but I love it, you know? All right, next, let's see what we're at. So much stuff. Next, we got the Venom War Lethal Protectors. We got the Venom War Deadpool. We got Deadpool number six, which I had to get because, you know, well, I think it's too late. I mean, I can spoil it now. It's been long enough. I feel like if you guys can't, you know, uh, apparently uh, Wade Wilson's no longer Deadpool after this book in a bad way. I don't know if he dies or not, but that's what I've heard. I need to read it. All right, we got Epitaphs of the Abyss, and we have that awesome 1 in 10 cover. I've been getting those 1 in 10s. We got this sweet cover here, and then... We got this other one, and of course, Epitaphs of the Abyss are EC horror, and you know, you gotta love that. Next, we have the Transformers number one, eighth printing, and I believe this is the restart of Ultra Mega. But I need to get the earlier books of that. But uh, Ultra Mega is also apparently in the uh, Void Rivals. So the uh, Energon universe. Oh, I forgot to pull these out. I got these. And the, this literally was in the backs too. Can't believe I forgot this. From Boom. From Boom we have this awesome... These awesome covers of The Graveyard Club by R.L. Stein, And I believe this might be like a... 1 in 10 or something like that. We got this cover right here. And then we've got this sweet Erica Slaughter cover right there. Boom. You know, boom, always putting Erica Slaughter and everything. This is a cool looking cover too. Graveyard Club kind of interested. You know, who doesn't love the classic RL sign stuff, right? Next, we've got one, the final brick. And, oh... This is all 
janky poo. Let's see what we've got here. We got X-Men number four, the regular cover with that sweet juggernaut on there. And we've got the J. Scott Campbell cover with Emma Frost, the White Queen there. We've got a What If Donald Duck Became Wolverine second printing with Momoko there doing the regular second printing cover. Then we have a second printing of Venom War number one. Venom looking awesome as he can on this cover. We've got an Ultimate X-Men number seven here. Moko, good, awesome cover. Another awesome Momoko cover here for Ultimate X-Men seven. We've got a second printing of Ultimate Spider-Man number seven. We've got a Spider Society number two, which has a version, I believe, of Aunt May as Madam Web. We got Spider Boy's annual, because I'm A, collecting Spider Boy, and B, collecting all the Infinity Watch stuff. And then finally, we're finishing it out with that awesome second copy of Venom Lethal Protectors number one. First appearance of the Silver Symbiote and, of course, all the other members of the Wild Pack turning into symbiotes themselves and merging with other ones. So it's pretty cool. So yeah, those were my pickups from last week's Comic Sense. Comic Sense is an awesome stream. You should definitely check them out if you're, you know into purchasing spec and uh truthfully it's a great place to get cheap books i mean you know stuff's the low the cheap i mean 25 percent off covers the like you know standard and then anything they'll go lower i mean they go 35 sometimes they go 50 sometimes they go cost you know so sometimes i've even seen them go below cost but thanks for watching hit like and subscribe i'm gonna get off here and uh see you in the next video later